Okay, example 8.20. According to Princeton survey research, 47% of drivers in the Midwest say they drive at or below the speed limit. Assume this percentage represents the true population proportion of all Midwest drivers who drive at or below the speed limit. Okay, so we have 47% and that is the population proportion. We're going to express that as 0.47 in our calculations. Determine the probability that more than 53% in a random sample of 200 Midwest drivers will say they drive at or below the speed limit. Okay, well, we can't confuse this percentage, 53% with 47%. This percentage is a sample proportion, while 47% is the population proportion. Okay, because here the wording says 53% in a random sample of 200. That means that 53% is considered a sample proportion. So we can't calculate probability without a mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of proportions. We need to specify the center of the distribution. We need to know the mean and the standard deviation or the mean and the standard error. So since P is 0.47 um, we can calculate the mean of the sampling distribution just by knowing that mu sub p hat equals p. So mu sub p hat equals p, which is 0.47. So our mean of the sampling distribution of the proportion is 0.47, which is going to be the center of the bell curve. And now to calculate the standard error, we're going to use that formula again. The square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n. Remember that p is 0.47, so 1 minus p, we're going to take 1 minus 0.47, and n is 200. We have a sample of 200 drivers. So let's go to the calculator. I'll do it together. And we have the square root of, well, actually, before we do that, you may want to decide what the, you may want to figure out what 1 minus 0.47 is. Okay, 0.53. So you've got the square root of 0.47 times 1 minus 0.47, which is 0.53, divided by the size of the sample. Close the parentheses, and you have 0.0353. Point oh three five three. This is the standard error of the sampling distribution of proportions. If you multiply NP, you'll get 94. This is if you take 0.47 and you multiply it by 200, the size of your sample, 0.47 times 200, you'll get 94. If you multiply 0.53, that's 1 minus P, times 200, you'll get 106. Both of those are greater than 5, therefore you can use the bell curve. You can use the normal distribution to answer this question. Okay, so let's look at our bell curve. In the center of our bell curve, we have the mean of the sampling distribution of proportions and the standard error of the sampling distribution of proportions. So we have 0.47 and 0.0353. The values that make up the horizontal axis are sample proportions. Okay, so a sample proportion that's greater than 0.47 is going to fall to the right of 0.47, and a sample proportion that is less than 0.47 is going to fall to the left of center. The question is asking us to find the probability that more than 53% in a random sample of 200 will say they drive at or below the speed limit. 
which implies that 53% is p hat. p hat, the sample proportion is 0.53. Okay, what we're doing is going to calculate the area underneath the normal curve to the right of 0.53. This is um, the area that is greater than 0.53. Why are we doing to the right? Because we're trying to find the probability that more than 53%. More than means area to the right. So here's our bell curve now. In the center, we keep our mean of the sampling distribution of the proportion and standard error of the sampling distribution of proportions. P hat, the one that the P hat that we're concerned with is 0.53 and it is to the right of 0.47. We shade area to the right of 0.53 because we're looking for more than 0.53. Now into our calculator we're going to put in normal CDF again we're going to use lower sample proportion comma upper sample proportion comma the mean of the sampling distribution of proportions comma the standard error okay so these are our values we're going from a p hat of 0.53 up to positive infinity the mean of the sampling distribution of proportions is 0.47 and the standard error that we calculated is 0.0353. So you should get 0 0.0446 or 0.4.46%. Okay, so the four values again that go into the calculator, p hat, 0.53, comma, positive infinity, which is way up here, 100,000, comma, mean comma standard error and then hit enter and you'll get 0 .4, 0 0.0446 or 4.46%. Example 8.21 According to a survey by the Better Sleep Council, nearly one-third of people admit to dozing off at their workplace. If a random sample of 100 workers is selected from this population, determine the probability that the proportion of workers who admit to dozing off at work falls between 0.24 and 0.42. Okay, so a few things are, are being given here. In red, you see one-third of people admit to dozing off at the workplace. This is our population proportion. The size of our sample is 100. And um, we're trying to find the probability that the proportion is between, the sample proportion is in between 0.24 and 0.42. The mean of the sampling distributions of proportions is always going to be the same as the population proportion. So we can take 1 divided by 3, which is approximately 0.33. Our standard error is going to be the square root of p times 1 minus p divided by n. So we're going to take 0.33 times 1 minus 0.33 divided by n. So again, on your calculator, you may want to figure out what 1 minus 0.33 is. If you figure that out first, you've got 0.33 times 0.67 divided by 100, which is going to give you 0 0.0470. This is the standard error of the sampling distribution of proportions. So now you're going to label your bell curve. If you just do a double check, you can see that if you take NP, you get 33. If you take N times 1 minus P, you'll get 67. Both of those are greater than 5, so you definitely have a bell curve. The shape of this distribution is approximately normal. Okay, so to find the probability, we're looking at area under the curve between a p hat of 0.24 and p hat of 0.42. So um, 
Let's see, do we have a picture? Okay, there's no picture in this problem, but what we're doing is identifying the lower p hat. So 0.24 is the lower p hat, comma 0.42 is the upper p hat. The mean of the sampling distribution of the proportion is 0.33. The standard error 0.0470. Hit enter and we should get 0.9445, 94.45%. And that is the um, chapter on sampling distribution and calculating probabilities. We've seen two possibilities now in these questions. We've got questions that involve sample means, and then we have questions involving sampling, uh, sample proportions. Questions involving sample means are going to make use of the sampling distribution of means, while questions involving sample proportions will make use of the sampling distribution of proportions. What changes greatly between the two types of questions is the calculation of the standard error. You've got a very different formula in each case. Other than that, the setup of the problem is very, very similar and the answer is always going to be found using normal CDF.